Question number seven from Pure Mathematics to pr practice paper CI International A level. Um, another proof question here. It says, that given that n is an element of the uh, natural numbers, natural numbers mean the numbers that you count with, and they start from one, and they're the whole numbers one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay, those are the natural numbers. Okay, they don't include zero, they are the positive integers basically. <coughs> <coughs> Prove that n cubed plus t 2 is not divisible by 8. So basically we have to try to find a way to include every single natural number that can possibly exist and prove that when you put that number into n cubed plus 2 you will never get any number that is divisible by 8. Okay, so what we can do is we can do it in a, in a quite a clever way. We could say, all right, let n equal uh, 2k, where k is an element of the natural numbers. All right. So in that case, um, you have, and this is case one, this will include all the even numbers. Sorry. And I should have said natural numbers. I said natural numbers, wrote real numbers. Okay, so all the natural numbers. So that, that will include all the even numbers. Okay, so for example, when k is 1, that will be 2. When k is uh, uh, 2, that will be 4. When k is 3, that will be 6. When k is 4, that will be 8. All the even numbers will be included by this when we put n equals 2k. All right, and let's, in case 2, consider n is 2k. Um, minus 1. We could put plus 1, but minus 1 would be better. Why? Because it starts from 1 then, okay, which is the first natural number. And so that will be all the odd numbers. Because like you're, you've got 1 less than every even number. So that's all the odd numbers. Okay, so that, this will include, if when k is 1, that will include 1. When k is 2, that will include 3. When k is um, 3, that would include five when k is four that would include seven so that would include one three five seven nine da, 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 all the way okay up to the last um, odd number and this would include all the even numbers two four six eight ten twelve and so on until the last even number so we're going to basically include every single possible natural number that will exist by using these two terms so let's put them that those into our expression. So let's take case one, n equals two k, and we put it into the expression n cubed plus two. So we've got two k cubed plus two, which is going to give you eight k cubed plus two. Now, eight k cubed. This is going to be definitely a multiple of eight, because k cubed is going to be an integer and 8 times an integer will be a multiple of 8 by definition. So this is a multiple of 8 but the whole thing, the whole statement is, so this will always be 2 more than, the whole thing will always be 2 more than a multiple of 8. Multiple, so my and it's playing up again. Okay, therefore, it can't be a multiple of 8. Because if it's 2 more than a multiple of 8, it can't be a multiple of 8. So we can say that when n is equal to 2k, n cubed uh, plus 2 isn't, isn't a multiple of 8 isn't a multiple of 8 okay now the second case is when n is equal to 2k minus 1 so you're going to get 2k minus 1 cubed plus 2 so if you expand that 
you're going to get basically 2k minus 1 times the square of 2k minus 1 which is 4k squared minus 4k plus 1 and you've got your plus 2 at the end and that will give you expanding again you're going to get 2k times 4k which is 8k cubed and 2k times minus 4k which is minus 8k squared and 2k times plus um, 1 which is plus 2k and then you're going to have minus 4k squared and plus 4k and you're going to have minus 1 and plus 2 at the end so let's simplify this you're going to have 8k cubed minus 12k squared plus 6k and plus 1 so you'll end up with basically 2 times okay I'm going to take 2 out of these these terms 2 times 4k cubed minus 6k squared plus 3k I'm taking 2 out of these 3 terms here and plus 1 now this is going to be an even number this part of it because you've got 2 times an integer this will always be an integer because you're going to have k as an integer okay so whatever number k you put in here it's going to be an integer so 4 times an integer minus 6 times an integer plus 3 times an integer will always be an integer so 2 times an integer will be always even but the whole thing is going to be odd why because Okay, this is one more than an even number. One more, it's an even number plus one. Than an even number. Okay, an even number. Therefore, it's odd. And there's no way that an odd number can be a multiple of eight. Odd numbers... can never be multiples of 8 because it's always basically 2 times something isn't it so therefore when n equals 2k minus 1 n cubed what was, this, what was it? it was a uh, n cubed plus 2 isn't divisible sorry about this oh my god isn't divisible come on Mr. Penn ok isn't divisible by 8 so we can therefore safely say that means for all for ok so for all values of n where n is an element of the natural numbers Okay, we have shown. Okay, so you have to give a statement. We have shown that n cubed plus 2 is not divisible by 8. Okay, I hope that was clear.